Hey YouTube, it's Cole. Uh, this is my 15th week on testosterone, and this is my boy's 15 weeks on T. Um, I don't really have a lot of uh, new changes, except that my voice keeps dropping. Uh, I have noticed that my range isn't as high as it used to be. Um, if I, for whatever reason, try to, you know, talk a little uh, higher, I get real squeaky. And uh, it's kind of funny to experience, but a lot of times, like, if I'm, you know, upset or um, f just for any reason, when I'm talking a little higher, you know, singing to, you know, music in the car, driving places, um, I notice my range isn't as high as it used to be. So that's kind of interesting for me. Um, I had mentioned last week that I was going to do a video about binders and um, like some of the gear that I wear on a daily basis that makes me feel more comfortable. And I realized I, I didn't get around to that this week because these weeks just go by so fast. So, um, I've been using, um, binders by Underworks. I was using them years ago when I first had come out. And then, um, you know, I learned there's another, like, brand on the market, but it really doesn't work for me. And I think that's just because I'm a bigger... Guy, I don't think like their sizes work well for bigger guys, um, but I swear by Underworks. Uh, when I first um, started my transition on Christmas Eve, I had purchased the uh, seventeen ninety nine binder. It's like seventeen. It's like eighteen bucks for the binder. Um, I've got it here, and I I've shown it to you guys once before. It's like um, it's a double compression on the front, single compression on the back, full length binder. Uh, it actually comes down really low so I can tuck it in my pants and that's really helpful for work because this is what I was wearing for work. Um, up until uh, about a month ago, I purchased a second one of these binders and I actually a 42, I think it was $42 binder, um, which is definitely like... But we'll get to it. It's it's a great binder. Um, so this was the binder I was wearing for work. Um, it's let's see if they've got the it's model nine four seven, which um, like I said, it, it's one layer in the back. You can see my skin through there really easily, and then it's two layers in the front so you don't see through it at all. And with this binder, something I really liked about these, you know, this is like their base line for, for compression binder vests or compression, bi compression binder tanks. But with their material before, it used to kind of give you chafing and it was something I really didn't like. So what they did, and I was really impressed, is in this model, they actually have... I don't know if you can see that. Like, it's a softer fabric. It's like a t-shirt almost that goes against your skin. And it's really, really nice. So, I had originally purchased my first one um, in a <clears throat> in a 3X. I'm typically a, like, 2X in shirt tops now. Um, just because I'm overweight in there. I definitely have some weight to lose. But prior to that, I was wearing XLs. So, I have noticed that, like, my my shoulders have widened out. And so XL tops are really kind of tight now through like shoulders and part of my bicep. So a 2X is just a lot more comfortable for me. So that's the the cheapest binder tank that I could find on their um, website when I was starting my transition up again. And like I said, I've bought two of them because I was wearing them for work all the time. And then I started looking on their website to try to figure out what would be a, you know, this model gets me really, like, it gets me flat. So I layer. I, I do the, the tank, the t-shirt, and a scrub top because I'm a nurse. So, um, you know, I, with the scrub top alone, like, when I wasn't wearing these, when I was wearing sports bras, like, you, you might be able to tell if you caught me at the right, like, site, like, the side view or the right light, um, but 
with these binders and my t-shirts and my, my tops, you can't really tell that I have a chest, which is pretty impressive because I actually have like a, like a 38C, so, or a 38, I don't know, it's a big chest. I have a big chest, unfortunately. Why they bless people like me who don't want them with big chests and my friends who are ladies who have small chests who'd like big chests. I don't know the way it works. So anyways, I, um, I bought another one and it had a lot of great reviews for guys that are um, female to male and transitioning. This actually um, has like a, it's a tank. It has like a t-shirt material on the, the front and the back, but it's a tri-top for the binder so from like just below like the start of your stomach down there's no binding on the front or the back which is really great um it is a triple layer compression so um instead of just the two like the other one in the front it has three but it's actually back in front has three uh for that tri top so it's like having a sports bra on with compression um this model cost me, I think, 42 bucks because I got it in a 2X. That was what I was going to tell you. I actually figured I'd go down a size um, to a 2X in, a, in my binders from Underworks. So this is model 988. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I do not know how it's going to be in the summertime because with the three layers, it is heavy. So like just picking it up, you can feel the difference. So this is the 988 model and you can see like it's a lot like nicer and it's thicker but remember what I said before that with the cheaper one they put the like soft side against your skin not with this one not not with this and I mean that kind of made me a little sad because you know I don't like to chafe nobody likes chafing chafing sucks so let me get it flipped around here and then you can see the compression material is just like the compression material in the other one, except that it's three layers instead of two. So, you know, it's just the, the classic, like, compression. And, like I said, it's, um, it's like a tri-top. So it's, let me flip this around. It looks like a sports bra, basically. But then it has, like, the shirt part underneath it sewn in it's very comfortable to wear it gets me extremely flat like i have no dysphoria whatsoever when i wear this which is unbelievable because top dysphoria chest dysphoria is huge for me um lower dysphoria wasn't really a huge thing for me um up until i my voice has really started to change and when i wear you know, either of these binders, I mean, I'm, I'm flat. And so I, I pass really well. So lower dysphoria has really started since, you know, I'm passing easier. So one of the products that um, I fell in love with is underwear by Rodeo. It's R-O-D-E-O-H. I have a pair here. I'm just going to grab them. Of course, they fell. <clears throat> All right, so again, I'm a bigger guy, but Rodeo, um, they actually sell products for bigger guys, which is great. And Rodeo recommends that you go up a size from your normal size because they run like a size smaller than what you would typically wear. So these are, um, they say they're boxers. They're not a long boxer, that's for sure. They're very short. They're more like a trunk fit. Um, but this is from the Rodeo Collection. And you'll see them here. Hey, nice maroon color. You know, kind of short legs. These ones, you'll notice, don't have an opening in the front. It's just all sewn shut. But that's really helpful for me because I'm just packing with a regular packer. I'm not using them as an STP. The great function about these that I love, okay, is, you know, all the devices out there that, you know, you can buy the, like, pouch that you either uh, safety pin or use a magnet to hold on to your underwear or whatever you're wearing. These have a built-in pouch. Like, they have actually 
already sewn in a pouch back here inside the underwear for your packer to go in. It's great. It's it's wonderful. It makes me so happy. So I have a packer um, that I have purchased that I got from uh, Mr. Mason Luke. And if any of you are wondering about Mason, he's got a, a YouTube channel uh, where he reviews a lot of products. He gets a lot of his products are actually sponsored. None of mine are. I bought all of mine outright. This is not a sponsored review at all. Um, but yeah, I really, 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 really love Rodeo's um, packing underwear. They're great. They're amazing. I have them in a bunch of colors. I've got them um, in mostly all that, that size with like the short, shorter leg. I love them. Um, so yeah, these are the things that make me feel the most comfortable on a daily basis. I wear them to work. I wear them out in public. I wear them at home. Not so much the binders, like, but I wear the underwear just around, like, packed at home. Like, I just, they're what make me feel complete. And if, if my insight and my experiences can help you to make some decisions to make yourself feel more complete, then by all means, that's, that's what I'm here for. So, um, I hope you all had a very great weekend and you have a great week and I'll catch you back here next Monday for month number four. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye.